Hello, TWs. Today we're gonna be uh, looking I'm not at a fan of Halloween or Halloween parties. Horror Whenever story. I'm invited to one, okay. I do my best to come up with a convincing excuse. So All those haunted this is houses supposed to be and silly costumes this just don't school? entertain me. Scary, I mean, well, I'll say it's cool. scary. Me. The truth is, Got my dog I here with me. It was fall 1994, and I was in eighth grade. What? My only friend, Teddy, and I were already sick of middle school. We had great plans for high school and could barely wait. In fact, we were going to make the football team in our first year and become the most popular guys overnight. Mom, Jamia said call Sister Cooper. We've been practicing all day. Mom, Jamia said call Sister Cooper. Yeah. Yeah, she said tell your mama to call Sister Cooper. Terrified, I ran into the house only to find our new TV smashed on the floor. My dad was furious. He was... Well, he was a sheriff, an old school one. Harsh, okay, sorry about that, guys. I got myself a job as a newspaper boy to repay all the damage. It was his condition. No football until then, he said. I didn't dare to argue. It wasn't a hard job, to be honest. Just riding my bike around our little town and leaving papers on front porches. The worst part was getting up at 5 a.m. every day. Well, that and delivering papers to one particular house. It was an old mansion located a full five minutes away from any other house. To get there, you had to take a dirt road through the forest. And even though the forest wasn't... Hold up, wait a minute. We're not putting staples in it. Who sends their child to go in all the way to a mansion? Do a forest where there's plenty of wild animals. That's dangerous. Okay, continue. Deep or dark. It was kind of creepy riding there early in the morning. The mansion itself would be quite beautiful with all those colonial chic balconies, fretwork, and it was styles. Looked I said beautiful, it would be. But because when I first saw it, kind of the way. house was pretty much decayed. The whole facade was rickety, as if the mansion was sliding right into hell. Okay, okay, maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit, but the building truly looked horrible. Most windows were boarded up, while others were missing glass. There were some noticeable holes in the rooftop. Walls were covered in black suit, as if someone had tried to set the house on fire. I would have never thought anyone could live in such a place. And I'd never seen any lights or other signs of anyone residing in that mansion. Well, except a brand new truck was parked near the house. And someone would always pick up the newspapers I'd been leaving on the front porch. That alone gave me the creeps. One day, that when I was hanging out with Teddy, too. I casually mentioned this to him. Teddy looked at me in shock. Dude! The witch house? Sorry about that. Okay, let's continue. And he lives there. Yeah, it's kind of hard to bullet. I started. Wait, did you say the witch house? Teddy nodded with a weird excitement in his eyes. He hiccuped. That always happened whenever he was agitated. Yeah, you know, the mansion. Ages ago, it was owned by some lady accused of witchcraft. She was lynched or something. Dude, how did you not know that? It's like the only interesting thing about this place. As he was talking, I started to remember. It was true. This story was handed down from one generation to another. Teddy continued. Damn, I thought the owners might have abandoned it for good. My brother tried to break yeah, in but the gum up. Okay, sorry about that. Small coffee table cracked down the middle. He stepped onto the staircase. In here, we'll put some jack lanterns. So, Talking guys, what should be done. I'm sorry, it's over my time, but yeah, I'll make a part two of this, okay? Bye.